I think basically there are two ways to think about it. One is how cinema can help us to understand how the brain is working. And the other direction is whether neuroscience can help filmmakers to do better their work. I mainly focus on, on the first line of research. We're really using movies as a natural stimuli to understand how the brain processes real life information, how it's called narrative, how it's called memory, how it helps social cognition and communication across people. On the one hand, sci science is science and science is international. So I think we all belong to the same community. We all are trying to solve similar problems. We all care about similar methods and, and using similar techniques. Of course, it's help being in an Ivy University that have all these like, uh, resources and funding that can facilitate research. But it's also really important to communicate and share knowledge with other institutes to help other scientists around the globe to do their work. There is a deep connection between memory and simulation and imagination. I think basically, Memory is another way to learn knowledge about the world without experiencing it by ourselves. Uh, therefore, therefore, it's really valuable to hear other people's stories. For example, I'm coming from Israel and I work in the US. In, the, in Israel, I had to go to the army and experience some conflicts. But when I'm telling my colleagues about this like, conflict, they learned from my own experience about the world and how to predict and simulate future situations without experiencing them themselves. And I think this is also the idea about movies and storytelling and narrative in general. We are sharing our stories because it's helped other people to know and to learn about the world from our own experiences without going to these experiences. And this is the point of storytelling. So, I think it's really important to tell the stories of what's happening now over here to other people so they can understand better what's going on over here and to learn from it. And also to learn from the past because, you know, Europe has a very dark past, right? So there is really something to learn from the past about the future. And now that we see the things rolling again and there is this notion that the young generation forgot the stories that happened in Europe in the 40s. And by retelling the stories of what happened in Europe in the 40s, people can learn and hopefully prevent the mistakes that happen to happen again. I, I, we watched a lot of movies. We really enjoyed recently seeing uh, Inside Out, which is like how the mind is working. And, and it was really interesting animation because it really exposed the children to ask what's going inside my head while I'm thinking. So we had like wonderful conversations. Of course, the way the movie uh, explained how the mind is working is completely wrong. <laughs> but still it induced the question of how it's working and I could start to explain to them that it's working in a different way and we had like wonderful conversation. First, I'm very grateful to be here. It's like wonderful to travel and, and see Tallinn, yeah, especially in this particular moment with all the tension that go around this area. I think it's really important to be here. Uh, I was mainly in the conference. I, I was mainly giving my talk and listening to other talks. Only had like a few hours during the evening to walk around, but it looked like an amazing city, a lot of culture, interesting old area and I love to explore it more and I hope to explore it more further today.